Welcome to Surya's Life Science. Today in this video lecture we are going to see what is staining, what are the types of staining and what is fixation process. So let's get into the video but before that don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. So first of all what is staining? Staining is a technique used to enhance the contrast in samples generally at the microscopic level. So let me consider a condition that I am taking a slide with a bacterial smear and that smear is not stained with any type of stain. When I examine that bacterial smear under microscope, it will look like this. But when I add some stain to that bacterial smear containing prokaryotic bacteria, it may look like this. So it shows that staining is a process which will enhance the contrast of the cells in the sample so that we can identify them. Based on the process of staining and types of stains used, it is of three types simple staining negative staining and differential staining we will discuss about each type of staining process in this video in detail along with the fixation process also but before talking about the types of stains used we must know what is basic stain and acid stain basic stains contains positively charged groups and are generally sold as chloride salts basic dyes bind to negatively charged molecules like nucleic acids proteins on the surface of the prokaryotic cells example of basic stain is methylene blue and crystal violet and also many more basic stains are also available in the market so how can we understand what is happening between the basic stain and a prokaryotic cell so let me consider an example take sodium hydroxide it is a basic compound so when we ionize sodium hydroxide, we get sodium plus ion on OH minus ion. Here sodium plus ion is a conjugate acid of sodium hydroxide. So this conjugate acid of a basic compound containing a positive charge can interact with the negatively charged groups present on the bacteria and it can create a force of attraction between the stain and the bacterial structures that's all about a basic stain and if you see for an acidic stain it is a complete opposite of a basic stain here we have negatively charged groups such as carboxyl group and phenolic hydroxyl groups because of the negative charge nature acidic stains bind to positively charged cell structures the example of an acidic strain is rose bengal eosin etc etc so now we are clear with what is basic stain and acidic stain now let us discuss the staining processes which are occurring based on these basic stain and acidic stain what is simple staining first of all in case of simple staining a single dye is used simple staining value lies in its simplicity and ease of use Mostly basic dyes are used in simple staining process because the cell wall of most prokaryotes are negatively charged. We have already discussed why basic dyes can bind with negatively charged groups. If you see in case of a simple staining process, only one stain is enough for staining all the bacterial cells and we can differentiate the bacterial cells with the medium. So that's all about a simple staining process. So let us discuss negative staining in comparison with the simple staining which we have already discussed if you see in this image this second image is simple staining and the third image is negative staining in case of simple staining the bacterial cells are darker in color compared to the background but if you see in case of negative staining the bacterial cells are lighter in color compared to the background so this is a difference between simple staining and negative staining. Now let us see how this is possible. So if you see in case of negative staining, it is possible only in capsulated prokaryotic cells because a capsule, a protective covering made up of polysaccharides present in some prokaryotic cells will not allow the stain to enter the prokaryotic cell. As a result, the stain will be outside and the cell will not have any stain. As a result, the background will be dark and the cells will be brighter in color compared to the background. So that's all about a negative staining process. 
Next, we have to discuss about differential staining. It is a process developed in microbiology to differentiate organisms based on their staining properties. The examples are gram staining and acid fast staining. Here we are going to discuss about gram staining. I am going to give you an overview to understand differential staining process with the help of gram staining. So first of all, we are taking a slide containing a smear, bacterial smear. We are introducing the crystal violet dye. As a result, the bacteria is looking completely violet. All the bacteria as present in that slide are looking in violet color. After that, we are using a mordant iodine to fix the dye with the cells more strongly. After that, we are washing the slide with alcohol. In this stage, you can see some bacterial cells are colorless and some are colored violet. The bacterial cells, which are gram negative in nature, having a thin cell wall, have lost the stain and the bacterial cells, which have a thick cell wall, that is gram positive bacterial cells, have retained the stain. So here the colorless cells are gram negative cells and the gram positive cells are colored ones. So to differentiate between the gram positive and gram negative in a more enhanced way, we are using a secondary stain called as safranin. After using safranin, the gram negative bacteria is stained pink in color and gram positive bacteria is stained violet in color. So that's all about differential staining. In this gram staining process, it is clearly seen that it is used to differentiate two bacterial species present in a same bacterial smear. That's all about differential staining. Now let us discuss about fixation. What is fixation? Fixation is a process by which internal and external structures of a cell and microorganisms are preserved and fixed in the position. The main thing happening in fixation is that it inactivates the enzymes that have possibility to disrupt the cell morphology and toughen cell structures. Fixation is of two types, heat fixation and chemical fixation. Heat fixation is used to observe prokaryotes and chemical fixation is used to preserve the structures within the cells. So that's all about today's video. If you like the video, share our video, like our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.